is the R13 ring saw. It's specifically designed for extra deep cutting of reinforced concrete, masonry, and stone. It uses a 13 inch or 330 millimeter ring saw blade to achieve up to 9 inch or 220 millimeters depth of cut. To achieve that depth of cut with a conventional circular blade, you would need about a 22 inch or 560 millimeter diameter blade. Our ring saw drive mechanism is unique in the industry, making it easier to adjust and change the blade while keeping the blade stably located when beginning the cut. The blade can be changed and adjusted in mere minutes. There is no need to disassemble the casing. The blade drive tension adjusts in one step with this central adjuster. These two guide roller adjusters only adjust the side thrust of the guide rollers. There is a tool-free cover over the drive wheel. The 3200 watt high efficiency universal motor provides plenty of power for fast cutting and has full electronic overload and thermal protection. The LED load warning lamp alerts the operator to load conditions. The handles are strategically designed to allow comfortable handholds for a variety of positions as needed for vertical and horizontal cuts. The spring-loaded lower splash guard follows the contour of the work surface and helps with slurry containment. It has a rounded rear edge to avoid catching when cutting in a backward direction. There's a clip to fix it in the upward position if needed. The upper blade guard is also spring-loaded and has rollers for smooth operation. It has an over-center spring to lock it open when needed. To mount and adjust the blade, loosen the thumb screw and slide open the cover plate. Loosen both guide roller adjusters all the way. Slacken the drive tension adjuster, but leave enough clearance between the drive wheel and the water plate. Fit the blade with the grooves facing down toward the left side guide rollers and engage the grooves. Fit the drive wheel onto the spindle with the taper facing out. Then the flange, align, and then the screw. Tighten the screw using the face spanner and T-handle wrench. To adjust the guide roller thrust, turn the adjuster until all slack is taken up. Finally tighten just until the blade does not slip on the roller, then tighten a further quarter turn. Do not over tension it, that would only give unnecessary load to the motor. Repeat for the other guide roller. To adjust the drive tension, tighten just until the blade does not slip on the drive wheel, then tighten a further one quarter turn. Do not over tension it. Then close the cover. If it slips in operation due to drive wheel wear, simply tighten it a small amount at a time, just enough to keep it from slipping.